Yes, it is me, Mark Vender here again today. Well, listen, two stories grab my attention today. One with the union, having to get a union to represent a former member of the union, executive of the union. And the other one is a story about a man who apparently went and burgled the house, but did not take his shoes with him. He took off the shoes because his shoes was making too much noise. <laughs> He was the scout sent to scout out the, sh the place. And my man took off the shoes. He said because the shoes was making too much noise. Forget the shoes. And when they carry the man safe and the money and two firearms and $4,000 and some U.S. currency. The next thing the man want is his shoes. So the fellow went back for his shoes the next day. <laughs> Get recognized and end up getting hold by the police or lost. And then this comedy of, you know, the union general secretary, former general secretary, having to be represented by another union in her fight to get what she calls is justice. Well, 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 well. Look, you see me, market vendor. The story said that the former general secretary of the National Union of Public Workers may be heading to the Employment Rights Tribunal. Uh, and she had to call in another union, this time Mr. Caswell Franklin, of the Industrial, he Industrial Relations Advisor, to be her representative in the matter that is ongoing. Look, fellas, you have to take the dirty linen and do not allow these things to be out in the public domain. Because how it going to look? I mean, after all, this woman was the General Secretary of the Union. And if she feels that she is not getting justice and the union is only turning up to the meetings, but they're not really saying anything, how you think employers going to feel when they look at your situation with the person who was effectively your CEO? Huh? And the person apparently feeling that she is not getting justice after she claimed she was unfairly dismissed. Market when they pass in the judgment, but whether it was fair or unfair, I just say how it going to look that the general secretary of a union had to call in another union to represent them. Oh, loss, as you say, how it going to look. Huh? Them things all look right at all at all. I could hear employers out there now rolling back in the chair and going ka 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 laughing out. But then a laugh to Sweden and the fellow with the shoes, man. The man went back. The man really wore the shoes, Chris Boy. He went back once. He went back twice looking for the shoes. You carry a safe, four thousand dollars, two guns, three hundred dollars in U.S. currency. Are you looking for shoes? <laughs> there must be very special shoes, boy. Man, I want the boy to walk about in his shoes at all the time. <laughs> but I like the part we see how to take off the shoes because it was making too much noise. <laughs> he got noisy shoes. Huh? He need a little bit of, you know, polish or something on but it. You see me, market vendor. Look, life real humorous way you look at it. I gone for now. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah? <laughs>